Dave Hughes is one for two. Now I gotta say, I subscribe to a lot of channels, but there is one channel that I pretty much watch every day religiously, and that is Dave TV. Much like Dave watches Adam the Woo, I pretty much watch Dave. I don't know. Maybe it's a beard thing. So Dave's one for two. What does that mean? Well, Dave met up with two people for little interviews that stopped by. And it seems like one went okay, the other one not so good. So were you ever a fan of somebody? thought they were really cool, whether it be a musician, a comedian, actor, or whatever, and then you met them, and you thought they were an asshole, and you wish you would have never met them, because it just blew your whole perception? Is that what happened with the carpetbagger? I mean, when I watched the video, the visit, and the meetup, I watched both of them. It seemed like everything went okay. Well, aside from the part when Dave walked away and was poisoned in his tea. No, seriously, it seemed like everything went okay. But ever since then, man, I don't know, these two been back and forth and back and forth. You got the shooting the blow-up doll and all that good stuff from Carpetbagger. What went on, you guys? Now it's made up with Adam the Woo. Apparently went pretty good. I enjoyed the little one-on-one, uh, -on -one, the walking around. I liked a little interview, pretty good stuff, and uh, seems there's no, uh, I don't know, carpetbagger stuff going on with uh, the Wu. Still seems to be interested, still uh, have nice things to say, so I'm glad that that meetup went well and it didn't crush your dreams and aspirations. Glad it didn't tarnish the image of the Wu. Now, I like watching Dave for a couple reasons. One, I like his quirky, kind of silly attitude. Seems to let things roll off his shoulders, too. He doesn't let those uh, negative comments bother him. And he doesn't really block people unless they really go overboard. He lets them say what they gotta say. I like that. Takes the criticism well and rolls with it. And he's not real serious. He's pretty silly about everything. I like that. He watches some things that I don't normally watch, so I get to hear what's going on on that side of the world. I find him pretty interesting and knowledgeable about a lot of things. He seems to be real knowledgeable about uh, radio and music and stuff like that. And I'm an older dude, so when he talks about, uh, you know, like Cream Magazine and uh, talks about uh, bands like, uh, I don't know, Rush or something, some old stuff that these new 20-somethings don't have a clue about. I kind of like that. And then there are the similar channels that we watch. We, lot, we watch a lot of the same thing. So I like to hear his take on things, and sometimes I'll even uh, watch Dave first and see what he talks about and go, oh, Nomadic Fanatic just uploaded one today. And then I'll go check it out. But I like to hear his take on it first. That way, sometimes, I don't even waste my time watching some of the stuff. I listen to Dave's critique and go, not worth the 10 minutes or 20 minutes or however long sitting through a bunch of crap. Dave just told me everything I needed to know. So Dave's down in Delaware right now, which is about, eh, three, maybe three and a half hours from me. So, I don't know. I don't know how long he's going to be there. But maybe sometime during the summer, maybe towards the end of the summer, if he's still around, maybe I'll run down there, drag my camera with me. Maybe we'll see if we can't make it two out of three. I might even throw on my camos and a white t-shirt, go down there and have a good old interview. We can stroke our beards talk to one another and hopefully it'll be more like a woo experience than a carpetbagger experience so if you're watching dave and you're going to be around in the area for a while 
I might just have to schedule a trip down to see you. Bring my blind ass down there because I got some questions I'd like to ask you on camera. And I promise I won't poison you. And hell, maybe I'll even pick up the tab for a pizza or a burger or whatever. But I would like to sit down and have a chat. This is Blind Views. And as always, yep, I watch Dave TV. And that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back.